Hi, everybody. If you can see me, I am talking to you right now four years later than the last time I did on YouTube. And so much has happened in that time period. I was literally 16 the last time I filmed this. I'm now 20. I created this YouTube channel originally because I was a junior in high school at the time, studying abroad in Israel. And I am now a junior in college, and I'm studying abroad again. And this time, this adventure is going to be so different and so exciting. I am in Madrid, Spain, and I'm so excited. I've never been to Europe in my entire life. I honestly haven't traveled outside of the country since I've walked because that's mainly due to a global pandemic, but also going to college and starting new things and not really needing to leave America in a post-COVID world. This is gonna be a little bit all over the place. Hi everybody, this is me in my apartment in Madrid, finally sitting down and taking the time to edit this vlog. Watching my content back, I'm realizing that half of it you can't hear me speaking because of the wind or background noise or anything like that. And I did invest in like little wireless microphones and stuff like that. So I'm gonna get better. I just, yeah, this is kind of like a test run for how I want this channel to look. And I apologize in advance that like you can't hear some of it or it's in Spanish and my audio is really bad. I am gonna get a lot better, I promise. But I filmed an intro video at the airport that goes over my aspirations and what I'm doing. So I'm gonna put that in next. And I'm so sorry in advance for all the background noise and everything. But from then on, you'll kind of see clips like this of me sitting here editing, like giving Emma Chamberlain like in her vlog era vibes. Um, just to kind of like correct myself or correct whatever's going on and kind of, yeah, fill in the blank spaces. But enjoy. Feel free to skip ahead if you can't hear. It's annoying. I promise in future videos, I will get better at this. Just made it to the drip this morning, but I'm still yet to step foot outside of the airport. I've just been waiting in here for a while because my roommate is flying in and it's supposed to meet me here. We are gonna be living in a two bedroom apartment together in Madrid. You're gonna learn everything along with me. I seriously like, <laughs> I'm really invested in starting this up because after, after I returned from Israel, this channel created so many opportunities for me. I was able to start a blog where I could just kind of like write about everything through a local organization and then I, got the opportunity to start my own podcast too when I was a senior that next year, which was so amazing. It's such a great opportunity. And so I'm hoping that by the end of this series, which is gonna be even better than the last, so much has changed in the last four years, basically. Right after I got home, that was in January, I vlogged like a BBYO international convention, if you'd watched that. And then after that, the world shut down. After that, I graduated high school. I dealt with some family trauma and I started college. I go to the University of Wisconsin-Madison and I am double majoring in journalism and then Spanish. I've spoken Spanish my entire life, or at least since I was five years old. My parents enrolled my siblings and I at a Spanish immersion school. So from kindergarten to sixth grade, we only spoke Spanish. And it was like a no recess if you spoke English type of deal. And I hated my parents for it at the time. I was like, why don't I go to English school or regular school? But now that I'm an adult, I am so thankful. I'm really excited to be in a country where I know the language because that was always something that frustrated me in Israel or something that I regretted not being able to speak or read Hebrew, but like to communicate with locals, it was unreal. Or like to hear on the airplane, like they say like the messages in Spanish too. And I'm like, I know exactly what they're saying. So I'm really, I'm happy about that. I can read all of these signs, but I have never been to Europe. And a lot of my Spanish education is South American Spanish. And so I'm excited to experience this. Since I last posted on here, my younger brother ended up doing Alexander Mas High School in Israel too. And he met multiple people that recognized his last name from mine. And it's because they had watched my videos before deciding to go on the trip, which means so much to me. I worked at a hotel in college during my sophomore year and I remember we would have like name tags and a girl that was visiting the college and staying there with her mom, like hotel guests at a campus usually do, she literally said that she recognized my name and asked if I had been a YouTuber. I would never call myself that because I was not like a kid who like grew up watching YouTube. I honestly like since posting, I still have never been a person to like watch vlogs or even know how it works. I've always just kind of, you know, 
posted my own content the way I would imagine. And if it's entertaining, it is. And if it's not, don't watch. <laughs> yeah, so I really want to document this experience because I know study abroad is a once in a lifetime thing. And I'm so thankful to be able to be doing it again. It's time like for real though, because I'm not in high school anymore. I'm a real adult. I'm a legal drinking adult now that I'm in Europe, which is cool. And there's so much freedom. I'm not living in a dorm. I'm not, I am on a, like a school program, but it's not like with counselors or with parental supervision of kind of any sort. I'm so excited to like explore and travel. And I have so many friends from college and home and camp and other places like that where they are also studying abroad right now, just in different countries around Europe. I'm planning weekend trips and I want to do all the things because it's now and you're gonna come with me and we're gonna do it together because I am nervous. <laughs> it's been my winter break for the last two weeks and I've never experienced anxiety like this. Like I've had full on insomnia for the last two weeks. Like I'm probably running on a total of 10 hours of sleep like in the last 14 days, which has never happened to me. And I feel like I've done this before. I've done something so similar. Like I should know or gone to college. I've been away from home before, but I was just so nervous. And now that I'm here, I'm just excited. And I really can't wait. Most of the people watching this now are probably not people who have previously subscribed to me on YouTube or followed me for my original travel series vlogs. But like, again, now that I'm four years older than I last was, I have co-workers and so many new friends and an entire new network of people in college and Greek life and so many new connections that I want to see me in this way too because I love doing it so much back then and I'm like why wouldn't I keep doing it now? This is also an industry I would love to work in so I am so excited to document everything. I want to remember this experience forever. I really need to get used to people looking at me especially when I have a, a ring light and a camera out in public. I hope you enjoy this series and I will update you from our apartment. There will be a tour and just see how it keeps going but for watching. Hi everybody, hello. Hi. Let's try my first coffee. I ordered this in Spanish, which was so exciting. I'm like, hola, para tener un café con hielo, iced coffee. Quiero que sabor dulce. That means like, I need it to be as sweet as possible because it didn't look like they had anything on the menu. She also gave me this. So that's just straight brown sugar. But yeah, made it and I'm gonna give a taste test. not sweet but um, I will definitely be drinking it because I need energy. Something else I totally forgot to mention is that when I uh, vlogged my Israel journey I have recorded the whole like travel experience but I decided not to do that this time because it was so chaotic. Like this is how much I'm bringing like two huge bags. This was my carry-on. This is all the food that I took from America because when I was in Israel I missed Cheez-Its so much. You know, got the brittle water bottle. And then this is my backpack, which has been full to the brim. So I just, it's so hard to like push these bags. I'm not a strong person. I made it. Like, that's like the moral of the story and what's important anyway. No one cares. You're gonna watch me travel many other places. So from America to here was, you didn't miss anything. I brought myself Brugger's bagel for breakfast. So I'd be eating American food one last time. And an update on the coffee is that it still isn't that sweet and I'm still so tired, but um, my roommate just landed and we will be leaving at the airport shortly to go meet our landlord. So see you soon. I'm noticing already as I download everything from my camera, a lot of gaps in my content because I either haven't been bringing the camera everywhere, I'm filming this on my phone. For any gaps, something I'm so thankful that I started doing and that I've like literally always wanted to do but never have taken the time to do it when I've been traveling is do a journal. And literally so far every day, it's been about two weeks now, I've written what we've done and everything so that I can remember it and kind of fill in the blank spaces of what these last two weeks have looked like. Settle in, please, let me read you a story. So after Josie and I met up at the airport, we taxied back to our apartment, this lovely abode, and literally we had to wait extra long to get a taxi XL from just my stuff, not hers, but we made it. We met our landlord and um, it's been going okay. We've had a couple apartment difficulties and bumps along the road. Our Wi-Fi wasn't working. We don't really know how to use our air or our heat. 
Um, the other night we literally blew a fuse and we just, we're learning new things. I don't know, this is the first time either of us have lived kind of on our own in a foreign country. So there are so many different norms and kind of different societal standards that I had not known previously. But yeah, so we got here, we unpacked, we grocery shopped a little bit and Josie and I's relationship, you guys will all meet here too. We both go to Wisconsin, but honestly did not know each other very well before deciding to live together. We had a Spanish class last semester and I recognized her name, saw she was on my program and we kind of had to make a housing decision pretty quick. My program only offered the options of either doing a homestay with like a host mom or living on your own in an apartment in an apartment that you had to find on your own. So for months, like we were communicating in Spanish to different landlords and researching neighborhoods and it's all working out so far, thankfully, but um, Josie as my roommate has seriously been like the biggest blessing of all of the housing. I feel lucky she rocks, couldn't say anything bad about the queen if I tried. But yeah, so the first few days was kind of just us venturing around, shopping at Zara, spending money on ridiculous things we probably didn't need, getting adjusted into apartment life. She loves to cook, which is awesome because I don't know how to. So she's been cooking us dinners and stuff like that. She'll cook all clean. It's a great system. And yeah, so for the first few days, we kind of just did that. And we didn't really start orientation until like a Wednesday and I got in on a Sunday. So a lot of free time is sometimes hard to manage, especially in a foreign place. I'm somebody that likes routine and wants to stick to a schedule. So it's definitely been something to get used to when you do have free time. But all in all, reflecting now, it's been going well. This next video is kind of us like on the way to orientation one day. And then we ventured out into the city of Madrid, met friends for drinks and lunch, and then went shopping. But the wind is like literally covering me and my noise all the time. So I'm really sorry if you can't hear it, but see you in the next editing club. Hey everybody, at the metro station right now on our way to class, on our way to orientation. Hope you can hear this. I know I can't promise how good the audio is and I don't want to scream because <laughs> we already look like so American being here. Bag unzipped, which is such a risk. We're learning all about pickpocketing and orientation, which has been absolutely terrifying. It makes me never want to leave the apartment ever. We found this really cute little coffee place by the <laughs> It's my, it's my guard. This is Josie, my roommate, by the way. You'll meet her, you'll see. I'm gonna give you like a proper introduction. Yeah. Like, but we're on our way to school and then we're gonna go shopping later and we'll take you with us and mwah. We have been just kind of walking, window shopping around this lovely area called Seoul and Malasanya. This is my current view. It's so different than anything like I've ever seen in America. I just love it here, honestly. It's been a tough adjustment, which I'll like get into later. It's been wonderful just exploring and shopping around and kind of getting to do whatever we want before real school classes start next week and the week after. So it's kind of like orientation week, kind of get used to this new city and foreign place. Also like, I guess New York is like that, where, where birds just come up to you right away, but um, I'm not used to that being from the Midwest. But yeah, so it's been a wonderful day. A little bit later, we're gonna go meet up friends at a rooftop bar and get drinks. They, half of them are on a tour right now of this museum called the Prado, and we, Josie and I, are going tomorrow. We're in like the second group, so we'll be doing that. Um, I'll definitely make sure to bring my camera there, and... That's pretty much it. Yeah, we're about to go find an Ikea because we want to buy like some more home goods for our apartment. And yeah, I'll update you when something more exciting happens or give a little haul later, we'll see. But yeah, bye. Guys, literally right after I started recording, those two men came up to me, which obviously scares me as an American. And they wanted a picture. I'm about to put that in right now. Happy second day of school. This is my classroom. Obviously I get here 15 minutes early as somebody with anxiety, even though Spanish teachers are always late and it's like a thing that punctuality is just like, they go at their own pace, they come when they wanna come. But if I were to be late, I'm like not allowed to be in class. You're not supposed to like eat or drink in any of the classes, but obviously need my little caffeine to get me started. Don't have a camera lens cover, so I've been using a sock and it's done the job. Here's my little Metro card, my mugshot picture, not showing it for that long. I've been bringing a zipped tote bag to class so that nothing gets stolen either on the Metro, but here's the view from like outside my classroom. It's such a pretty campus. 
and like I want my camera to focus because the lighting is like pretty there's like a sunrise going on right now the classrooms typically look like this and yeah campus is pretty beautiful this is like a really awesome building and I'm still learning my way around and this is the first time I'm bringing my camera maybe the last too I just get so anxious bringing it in public but yeah all right I'll keep you posted después de mi clase hey everybody okay here's me in the elevator of my apartment going down right now i'm meeting up with my classmates it's 65 degrees today in madrid which is like summer and probably the best weather winter i've ever had i'm showing you what my cute little apartment looks like when you walk in here we go and here is the view it's awesome hello beautiful madrid my camera, I feel like, is doing a bad job adjusting to the light, but I thought I would bring it along because we are going on a tour of Madrid, and I haven't been on a tour of Madrid yet, and so I figured I should bring this and vlog, and I'm wearing a tank top, which is just crazy in January because I'm used to it being negative 10 right now, which it would normally be at home. Okay, so we've learned in class that staring is a norm, but staring also, especially when you have a camera out, is just so embarrassing. But I'm gonna walk you through my little metro journey. Something is going on with the police. I don't know if you can see the like really cool castle over there. This is literally the view right outside of my apartment. This is my adorable little street. I hope this really doesn't come out blurry. I don't know how to fix it. Not a camera gal. Yeah, I've loved living here so far. My neighborhood's pretty quiet for the most part. And it's been an all around positive experience. I'm already running late, obviously. I know the first part of my day started out so early, but then I needed a shower because I was profusely sweating when I got home from school. Jaywalking isn't really a thing either, but I'm about to do it. Running across the street and trying not to get killed. With a camera out, I feel like I'm just a walking target right now. A, as an American speaking English on the street, and B, with a huge camera out. So, talk to you in the metro. Bueno, chicas, chicos, veis, este aquí primero tenemos lo que tenemos aquí delante, justo abajo. Ese es el jardín del Campo del Moro, que como digo se puede visitar por el otro lado, ¿vale? Las dimensiones reales, la magnitud del palacio, que es mucho más grande porque como veis cae por ese lado. Y luego del otro lado ahí estaría el río, podemos ver, pero que está ahí un poco más allá, desde el momento en que se convierte en capital, por eso los monumentos importantes son casi todos posteriores a 1561. Por ejemplo, este. Cero quiso construirse su palacio cerca del Real Alcázar, en aquel entonces... pero después ha sido el Town Hall a donde está ahora en la plaza de Cibeles al lado de, de la calle Alcalá pero veis que este es otro edificio diseñado por este arquitecto que hemos mencionado varias veces por Juan Gómez de Mora ¿no? que tiene el escudo del rey de entonces que es de Felipe IV ¿no? Porque este era el centro de la ciudad. Por ahí está, y veis la iglesia de San Isidro, esta es la calle Toledo, que va a Toledo, donde se donde estaba el camino, la carretera Toledo, y esto se construyó entre el año. 1616 Hey everybody, it's me and this is like kind of the first time I've been home alone all week and so I wanted to give a little apartment tour. This is Josie and I's adorable little humble abode in Madrid. So let me just give you kind of the rundown from when you first walk in. We've got this cutie little hallway here leading into our adorable kitchen. Obviously, because we're in Europe, the washing machine, for some reason, is in the kitchen, and the fridge is actually in the living room. But Josie likes to cook, 
I do not. I'm pretty incompetent in the kitchen, so the fully stacked kitchen is definitely her calling rather than mine. You can see I'm deeply cherishing the snacks that I brought from America. Um, we bought this ratchet little coat rack for nine euros and it didn't come with half the parts. So, you know, obviously we're making do and we have a lot of things. It comes with this cute decor, awesome couch. Again, why is the fridge here? We don't know. And here is a balcony that we have that overlooks our cute little street and neighborhood. Our neighborhood is pretty residential for a lot of like kids and it's only like, let's see what time it is. It's listening to the toast obviously 642 and like my camera won't adjust but like the sun is like down it won't rise till like 830 which is just like is there ever a day but when there is day it's beautiful then we have awesome tv that the people who lived in this airbnb or whatever before us literally are still signed into their netflix accounts which is awesome and this is our table we where we eat i've been journaling to remember what i've done every day because it actually feels like i forget like what happened and trying to document my finances and be responsible at adulting for the first time. Here's our cute little shower. Obviously, the cheetah print belongs to me. Here I am. And, you know, we are two girlies with all of our products and medications. Love our little bathroom. Something really awesome about it is that this is like a towel heater, which actually feels like heaven when you get out of the shower. Need to incorporate that into America. And also, this shower rocks. I mean, two heads, it, it's probably the best part of the apartment. It's pretty cool, you close it like that, which I've like never really seen before, and like water probably gets on our floor when we shower, but whatever. Then this is Josie's room, I won't show you because that's like kind of invading her privacy. Came with this mirror, which rocks. Here's my room, and I literally like finally finished unpacking like yesterday. Bought this from Ikea because this closet just like came with no drawers. It also came with like two hangers. And who has lived here before and only requires two hangers? Not me. Stuff's up there. Oh my god. We did this yesterday during our orientation. And it's like manifestations. And I literally taped it up to my wall to remember. All the medicines. Literally all the medicines that I've had to bring from America. Probably the best packing essential I would give already as a piece of advice to anybody. Command hooks. Yes, they sell them here, but not like in America, and it has actually been such a game changer for the room. Okay, uh, second closet again. Um, just kind of using it for storage and whatnot. And then my bed. I'm super fortunate to have a full-size bed. However, maybe this is just a thing in Europe. The mattresses are so hard. I'm literally sleeping on a rock. I know it's good for the back. Uh, literally every night I think about how much I miss my bed at home. Regardless, another packing essential I would say, these pictures. Every day I get to wake up and look at the people that I love who aren't here and I miss them all so much and love them and I hope they're watching this. Hello. And then I bought these little makeup organizers which have been a game changer because like I can never see my things. Oh my God, this is also something we need to bring to America. Being able to shut off your main light from the side of your bed. Okay, this is the part of my room that I'm the most fortunate and grateful for because never experienced anything like this. Never lived in a place warm enough to have something like this as well. Our apartment happens to come with two little balconies. And mo I mean, I wish I was recording this in the daylight because I honestly don't even have my room light on most of the time. It's just filled with natural daylight. However, because the weather goes through like many bipolar changes throughout a day, I will wake up like genuinely sweating if the sun's already out or freezing. And it's just kind of been a, a mix of how to deal with that. I open the door. We don't really know how to work our stuff yet, but uh, we're working on it. And that is our tour. Bye. Good morning, everybody. Here is my first time vlogging on my phone instead of my camera and using my little mic. It has a clip, but I'm not gonna do that right now. As you can see, the sun has still not risen. I will flip the camera in a minute. I am on my way to my second day of class. It's 8 a.m. right now, kind of a normal time. My class doesn't start till nine, but I like being the first one there and you never know because this is kind of like rush hour for the Spaniards to get to work. So the Metro is like so overcrowded and I like hate it. Yeah, I am bringing my phone instead of my camera today to test out how this works and whether or not the sound and the quality is better. And I will update you when something more exciting happens. So yeah, here is my lovely walk. My phone's on like a stand, but I just have like really shaky hands. So... I think I will get 
definitely better at this for sure. But yeah, this is the lovely little walk in my neighborhood. And everybody's hustling and bustling. And um, yeah, all right, I'll talk to you later. Okay, hey everybody, made it to school, and yes, I'm here early because, again, this is just what I do, but also my excuse today can be that I'm filming content, and just want to say, actually, kind of a shit show process to get here. This is like rush hour, I guess, 8 to 9 a.m. The metro's so busy, the bus, so busy, and it's like a norm here to like push people. Like, we learn all about certain cultural, societal norms and just like common standards that they have in Spain that we're not really used to in the US and I've been like taking notes in this little planner of mine obviously cheetah print sorry about the mic too as I learn how to use it I'll do a better job at hiding it but like okay I literally want to list off some of these because it's like crazy like first of all touching in personal space like kind of what I was saying like they will push you then they'll say perdón which is like excuse me because they're nice like people literally are standing on top of each other I don't really feel as bad though because I'm really impatient so when I'm trying to navigate through people I'm like swerving perdón 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 yeah, something else that's so interesting that I didn't realize is like the schedules. Like I just put in a video of the cafeteria and like eating lunch or breakfast. I, breakfast like honestly isn't even a thing. It's kind of more of a thing to eat like a mid-morning snack. I was surprised that the cafeteria is even open. Like normally it's not in the mornings. Then they eat lunch between like one to three. And then there's like siesta, which I haven't totally witnessed. I feel like most of the stores that I go to are open still like during the middle of the day. But I do know it's a thing. And then they don't eat dinner till like 9 or 10 at night. And like that's so something to get used to. I mean, for my friends in homestay, like they have to be home every night at a certain time like to eat dinner with their senora. But at least like Josie and I can kind of make dinner whenever we want. But if we're like out to eat, like eating dinner at 11 o'clock is so normal here, which is crazy. Another norm is staring, which is coming to be my favorite new norm. It's very normal for people to like stare. And when you make eye contact, they don't look away. Like, that's the thing. So it's kind of funny to, like, if you catch somebody staring at you, like, I'll, like, stare back. Or, like, I can just, like, watch people, too. Like, it's really fun and it's considered normal. So I like that. It's also a norm here to not be late for class. Like, if you're five minutes late, a lot of teachers will, like, not let you come in. That's what they warned us about during orientation, but I haven't actually witnessed that happen to anybody yet. They also say, like, you can't eat or drink in class, so I'm trying to, like, finish my little coffee so quick. And they say you really can only leave to, like, go to the bathroom. And attendance is something that my school takes so seriously, which sort of sucks. But if I miss a day of class, it, like, my grade will go down a full letter. So, like, that freaks me out because it's still this early in the semester but I will be traveling this weekend so I'm really excited about that and that's honestly when I'll really test out I'm, I'm kind of testing my limits because I'm flying back in Monday morning I'm gonna just get into this in another video okay I'm way too lazy to take out the mic or my stand so I'm really sorry if this is shaky but I had a day after school I was expecting to just go home but duh told myself before I came abroad that I wanted to buy a trench coat. It's really warm here. And so I was like, I don't need one. Wow, this is great. But I'm traveling and it's colder in other parts of Europe and trench coats are like the norm. Never owned one, never really had a need to own one, but like it's very European. And it's like, if you're gonna get one, now is the time. So I made the investment. My goal was to find one under $50 or euros. And I did at Zara for like 30 euros. Love it. I'm really excited. I'm gonna wear it. You'll see it. Really cute. And told myself to not buy a black jacket because all I own is like a black jacket. But we had a really fun day. I need to end this video so that I like know where I'm going because I'm walking to a bus station right now. <laughs> okay, anyway though, so after lunch, or nope, after orientation and class, some friends from my program and I went out for tacos and drinks. And then we literally just ended up like talking all afternoon 
walk to Azara because my goal was to buy a trench coat before I leave for Paris tomorrow. And my friends came with me and obviously bought stuff too. Because we get here, if you're studying abroad in the spring, for some reason, January is the month that like everything is on sale in Spain. The word is rebajas. That's my new favorite word in Spanish. It means sale and it has red tags. This was actually probably my first not sale purchase, but it was like 30 euro flat. So I'm not gonna pass that up and I'll fit in better now. But we had a day, it was lovely, great day. And I'm sorry for not vlogging it because that's literally why I brought my equipment today. But sometimes you just gotta live in the moment and I'm here to tell you all about it. But don't worry, I will be recording a lot more. And as I get more comfortable with not getting pickpocketed and shit, it's crazy. Like I'm a girl walking alone right now. If I was in America, you know what I'd be scared of. But in Europe, I'm just scared of getting pickpocketed, like not kidnapped or raped or abused. Like, I mean, maybe I would, but otherwise, like people are nice here. Like they just like genuinely are. And I'm from Minnesota and people are nice there too. Most of the time, at least in Madrid, I know all parts of Spain aren't like this. And I know that all parts of Europe aren't like this. Believe me, they've like scared the shit out of us during orientation about being vigilant and getting pickpocketed and like how normalized it is here. I don't know, like everyone's kind of in their own world and I love it, I'm in mine. I look ridiculous with a camera out talking to myself, but it's okay, nobody really cares and I love that. So that's my update and I will update you when something more exciting happens, bye. Hi everybody, as you can see, I am ending this video just like I started it at the Madrid airport because I am going on my first European travel experience this weekend. I'm so excited. It's Thursday night and I'm flying to Paris and I'm meeting one of my roommates from Wisconsin there, which is going to be amazing. Neither of us have A, been to Europe and B, been to Paris or C, speak French. So this is definitely going to be a journey, but we're so excited. I'm so excited to see her. I've like missed a familiar face and we just like have so much to catch up on. She is studying abroad in Florence. You'll meet her. Crazy airport experience. I mean, I'm an avid overpacker as you saw at the beginning of the video so now trying to fit these like airline standards has been a challenge but I got an email earlier that my flight was letting people check their bags for free which was amazing so I was like you can take that because it's very heavy but I do want to show you guys before I end this video um, I got McDonald's for dinner because you know a sense of familiarity is nice right now and I can always count on all reliable but something that they do in Europe is sell beer at McDonald's like a McBeer. I wanted some sort of alcoholic beverage because I've had a stressful day. I've never drank beer in my life. I'm probably going to hate it. So I got a McBeer. And then my other favorite thing on the McDonald's menu. So this really just goes to show the duality of, of women, of Europeans, of, of anyone. And I'm going to eat it on the plane. I hate to be that person, but I'm like late. So they're boarding in a few. And I will See you in my next video. Bon voyage. Oui, oui, pretty. Uh, it's like actually all the French I know. I, again, apologize for like how all over the place this was. I'm going to get so much better as this as I keep going. And I brought this little mic. It has two. So Emery will use one too, my roommate. And um, my little stand. And I hope it's a great time. You guys will experience it with me. And yeah. Okay. Bye.